Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Ezekiel 13 to 18, Proverbs 13, and Psalm 48. Let's get started. The Lord of the Lord came to me, Son of man, prophecy against the prophets of Israel. Hear prophecy, and say to those who prophecy from their own hearts, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Why to the false prophets who follow their own spirit, and have seen nothing? Your prophets have billion like jackals among the ruins of Israel. You have not gone up into the breaches, or built up a wall for the Lord the house of Israel, that it might stand and bow in the day of the Lord. They have seen false visions and lying divinations. They say, declares the Lord, when the Lord has not sent them, and yet they expect him to fulfill their word. Have you not seen a false vision and under a lying divination? Whenever you have said, declares the Lord, although I have not spoken, therefore thus says the Lord God, because you have uttered falsehood and have seen lying divinations, therefore behold, I am against you, declares the Lord God. My hand will be against the prophets who see false visions and will give lying divination. They shall not be in the council of my people, nor be enrolled in the register of the house of Israel, nor shall they enter the hand of Israel, the land of Israel. And you shall know that I, that I am the Lord God. And precisely because they have misled my people, saying, Peace, when there is no peace. And because when the people build a wall, these prophets smear it with wormwood. So each of those who smear it with wormwood, wash that shall fall. And there will be a deluge of rain, and in you a great hailstone will fall, and storm you wind break out. And when the wall falls, it will not, will it not be said to you, Where is the coating with which you smit it? Therefore, thou says longer, I will make stormy wind break out in my wrath. And there shall be a deluge of rain in my anger, and great hailstones in wrath to make fall in. And I will break down the wall that you smit with white wood, and bring it down to the ground, so that its foundation will be laid bare. And what for which you shall perish in the wall, and upon those who smear it with my wash. And I will say to you, you have wars no more. And on those who smear it, the prophets of Israel who prophesy concerning Jews, and saw visions of peace for her, where there was no peace, because the Lord God, and you are so messed, your face against the daughters of your people, who prophesy under their own house, prophesy against them, and say, Thus is the Lord God, woe to the woman who so magic lands upon all wars, and make the earth the heads of persons of every stature, in the heart of soft. You have done souls belong to my heel, and keep your own souls alive. You have profaned me among my heel for handfuls of blood and for pieces of bread, having to death souls who should not die, and keeping alive souls who should not live. I am lying to my people who listen to life. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against your magic bands with the, which you hunt the souls like birds, and I will tear them from the arms, and I will let the souls, souls whom you hunt go free. The souls like birds, your veil is, I will tear off and deliver my heel out of your hand. And they shall be no more in your hand as prey, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Because you dishonoured the righteous falsely, that I have not grieved him, and you have encouraged the wicked, that he should turn from his evil way, and will save his life. Therefore, that you shall no more see false vision, nor practice divination, and will deliver my people out of your hand. And you shall know that I am the Lord. And certain of the elders, then certain of the elders of Israel came to me, and sat before me. And the words of the Lord came to me, son of man. These men have taken their idols into their hearts, and set the stumbling block of their iniquity before their faces. Shall I indeed let myself be consoled by them? And if I speak to them and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, anyone of the house of Israel who takes an idol from himself, and sets the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and yet comes to the prophet, I, the Lord, will answer him as he comes with the multitude of his idols, and I may lay hold of the house, of the heart of the house of Israel, and will always drain from me through the idols. And if I say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, repent and turn away from your idols. And turn away from your faces, your faces from all your abominations. But any one of the house of Israel, or the stranger who should go in Israel, who separates himself from me, taking his eyes into his heart, and putting the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and here comes the prophet to consult me through him, I, the Lord, will answer him myself. And I will set my face against that man, and I will make him a sign in the byway, and cut him off in the midst of the people. And you shall know that I, the Lord, and if the prophet is deceived and speaks the word, I, the Lord, have to see that prophet. And I'll stretch out my hand against you, and I will destroy from the midst of my Hebrew Israel, and they shall bear the punishment. The punishment of the prophet and the punishment of the inquirer shall be alike, that the house of Israel may no more go away astray from it, nor to fill themselves any more with all their transgressions, and that they may be my people, and I may be their God to cast them over. And the word of the Lord came to me, so the man, when the last sins against me, by acting faithlessly, and I stretch out my hand against him, and break his upon him, and hands him frowned upon him, and then cut off from the men, which even if these three men, now are Daniel and Job were in, and were delivered by their own lives, and their righteousness, to Christ the Lord God. And I caused wild beasts to pass through them, and they ravaged it, and it be made desolate, so no one passed through because of those, because of the beast. And even if these three men were in there, I said, we have to close the Lord God. 
They were delivered by the sons of Mordor. The land will be delivered, but the land will be just like one my bring a sword upon that land. So they saw past the land, and I cut off from my man base, and they, they, these three men were in it. And as I left to close the Lugar, they were delivered by the sons of Mordor. But their land will be delivered by my base, and the pestle will be to that land. I brought my wrath and parted with blood. The car from my man beast, even if Noah, Daniel, and Joel were in it, and as I left to close the Lugar, that they were delivered by the sons of Mordor. They would deliver them of their own lives by their righteousness. And this is Lord, how much more when I send upon Jerusalem my gorgeous astrous acts of judgment, swore of famine and wild beasts and pestilence, to cut off from it men of peace, and behold, some survivors will be left there, sons and daughters will be brought. And how when they come back to you and you see their eyes and their deeds, you will be consoled for the disaster that I have brought upon Jerusalem, for all that I have brought upon it. Uh, they all can see me. you see their ways and their ways, I'm sure that I have not done without them all that I have done in it. Because the Lord God. And the word Lord King James said, Amen. How does the word of the Lion surpass any word? The Lion bribes those among the Jews of the flock. Has wood taken from it to make anything? Do you hear take a peg from it to hang another vessel on it? Do you hear what is to the fire for fuel? And the fire is consumed by things, and the middle of it is charred. And charred? Is it useful for anything? You know, when it was whole, it was empty. It was used for nothing. You know how much less when the fire is kitchen and this child. Can it be can it ever be used for anything? If it thus is longer, like the water of the vine among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel, so have I given up the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And then I will set my face against them. So they stay in front of the fire, the fire shall be up to them. And then you will die the eye of the Lord, and I shut my face against them. And I will make the land desolate, because they have acted faithlessly to Christ Logo. And in the word of the Lord came to me, Thou son of man, make known to Jerusalem her abomination, and say, Thus is the Lord God to Jerusalem. Your origin and your birth are of the land of the Canaan. Your father was in a mortar, and your mother a hare. And as for your birth, on the day you were born, your coal was not cut, nor were you washed with water to cleanse you, nor rubber soap, nor wrapped in swaddling cloths. Now I pity you, to do any of these things to you, I have a compassion for you. You cast her on the open field. For you have abhorred on the day that you were born, and I passed by you and saw you wallowing in your blood. I said to you in your blood, Live. And I said, And I made you fl- And I said to you in your blood, Live. And I made you flourish like a plant of food. And you grew up and became tall, and arrived at full dawn. Your breasts were formed, and your hair had grown, yet you were naked and bare. When I passed by you again, saw you, behold, you were at the age for love. And I spread the corner of my garment over you and covered your nakedness. I wrote my vow to you and entered into covenant with you, because the Lord God, and you became mine. Then I bathed you with water and washed you with blood from me, and anointed you with oil. And I clothed you with open bright cloth and shod you with fine linen. I wrapped you in fine linen and covered you with silk, and I adorned you with ornaments and put bracelets on your wrist, and a chain on your neck, and a ring on your nose, and earrings on your ears, and, ears, and a beautiful crown on your head. Thus you were adorned with bronze and silk, and your body was a fine linen and silk. And silk and in bridal cloth. He ate fine flour and honey and oil. He grew exceedingly beautiful and advanced to royalty. And your renown went forth among the nations because he would be. And it was perfect to spandle. And now I bestowed on you to close the uncle. And you trusted your beauty and played the whore because you were renowned. Renowned and lavish your horns on any, on any possible. Your beauty became his. You took some of your garments and made for yourself clothes for shorts. And on the flight of the your life has never been seen nor ever shall be. You also took the beautiful jewels of, of my God and my, of myself, which I had given you, and made for yourself, and you just met, and you were with them and fled the home, and you took your bridal garments to come, and I set my own and my essence before it. This is my breath that I gave. I fed you with my flower and oil and honey. You set before them for a pleasant hour, and so it was to cleanse the Lord God. And I took your sons and your daughters, whom you had born to me, and these you sacrificed to them to be done. May your whole life say small matter that you slaughtered my children to be done. And delivered them up as an offering by fortune. And in all your abominations and your horns, you do not remember the days of your youth. When you were naked and bare, wallowing in your blood. And after all your wickedness, you built yourself a vaulted chamber, and made yourself a lofty place in every square. At the head of every street, you built your lofty place, and made your beauty an abomination. By offering yourself to any passerby, and multiplying your horn. And to provoke me to anger, behold, therefore, I stretch out my hand against you. And diminished your allotted portion, and delivered you to the grave of your enemies, the daughters of the Philistines, who were ashamed because of your lewd behavior. You played the whore as it was really seen, but because you were not satisfied, yes, you played the whore with them, and still you are not satisfied. You multiplied your whore and oyster, 
I was there with the training man who told you, and even with this, you are not satisfied. How sick is your heart, declares the little girl, because you did all these things. The teeth of a brazen posture, the learning of all the chain like the head of every shoe, and making you a lofty place in every spot. You grew around like a sheep because you scorned pain. Adulterous wife, you received strangers instead of a husband, and gives gifts to all prostitutes, and you gave your gifts to all your lovers, bribing them to come to you from every side of the world. So you were different from other women in your homes. And it was solicited you to play the role, and you gave pain, while no pain was given to you. Therefore you were different. Therefore I brought you the way of the world. And thus is Lord God, because your lust was poured out, and your nakedness was uncovered, and your whores with your lovers, and with all your vulnerable men. And because of the blood of the children that you gave to them, therefore they come and all gather, and gather the room against you from every side, and uncover your nakedness to them, that they may see all your nakedness, and I will judge you as women. Who commit adultery and shed blood, I judge, and bring upon you the blood of wrath and jealousy, and I will give you into their hands, and shall throw down your vaulted chain and break down your lofty places. You shall strip your blue clothes and take your beautiful jewels and leave you naked and bare. You shall bring up pride and and they shall stone you and cut you to pieces with their sword, and they shall go in your houses and execute judgments upon you inside of many rooms, and I will make you stop playing the whole thing, and you shall to give pain and memory. So I will satisfy my life on you, and my jaws will be shunned apart from me. I will be calm, and my men will be angry, because you have not remembered the days of your youth, and have embraced me with all these things, therefore I will be calm. I have returned your deeds upon your head to curse the Lord God. If you are not clear about your witness, in addition to all your abominations, you kill everyone who uses Proverbs or uses Proverbs about you, like mother, like daughter, and not the daughter of the, your mother. He loathed her husband and her children. You are the sister of your sisters, who loathed her husbands and their children. Your mother was a Hittite, and your father an Amora, and your elder sister is Mary, who lived with her daughters to the north of you. And your younger sister, who lived to the south of you, is Sarah with her daughters. Not only did you walk in their ways and do according to their abominations, but within a very little time, you are more corrupt than they in all your ways. As I live to close the Lord God, your sister Sarah and her daughters had not done as you and your daughters had done. Behold, this was the girl of your sister Sarah. She and her daughters had part excessive food and prosperous ease, and they, but did not aid the poor and needy. They were the haughty and did their own abomination before me. So I removed them, and when I saw it, so Mary has not committed half of your sins, yet you have committed more abominations than they, and have made your sisters appear righteousness, righteous by all the abominations that you have committed. And your disgrace, you are for you have intervened on behalf of your sisters. Because you of your sin, in which you acted more abominably, and they, they are more in the right than you. So be ashamed, you are and bear your disgrace. For you have made your sisters appear righteous. I will store their fortunes, both the fortunes of Sarah and her daughters, and the fortunes of Mary and her daughters. And I will store your own fortunes in their midst, that you may bear your disgrace and be ashamed of all you have done. They come in consolation to you. And as for your sisters, Sarah and her daughters shall return to their former state. And Samaria and her daughters shall return to their former state. And you and your daughters shall return to your former state. A former state. And your sister, was you not your sister said in a byword in your mouth in the day of your cry, and for your wickedness was uncovered. Now you have become an object of reproach for the daughters of Siri and all those around her, and for the daughters of Philistine, all those around her who really despise you, and you bear the penalty of your lewdness and your abomination, because the Lord. And as thus says the Lord of God, I'll deal with you as you have done, and you who have despised the earth and broken your covenant, and I shall remember the covenant with you. In the days of your youth, I will establish for you an everlasting couple. And you will remember your ways and be ashamed when you take your sisters. And I the elder and the younger. Younger. And I will give them to you as daughter. But not on account of the covenant with you. And I will establish my covenant with you. But you shall know. And you shall know the land of the Lord. And you will remember and be confirmed. And never open your mouth. Open your mouth again because of your shame. And I tell for you all for all that you've done, because the Lord, Lord the Lord came to me, said a man, propound a widow, riddle, and spake a parable to the house of Israel. Say, thus says the Lord God, a great eagle with great wings and long pinions, rich and pure image of many colors. Came to a banner and took the top of the sea. He broke off the topmost of his young twigs and Young twigs and carry it to the land of dreams so that you see a merchant. When he took the seed of the land and planted it in the so he placed it beside a bundle of wood. And he said, like a willow twig, and it spread out and became a low spreading vine. And its branches turned to water, and its roots remained wet still. 
And so it became a fine and produced branches and brought up bars. And there was another great eagle with great wings and much plumage. And behold, this fine bandage where it scored him and shot forth his branches toward from the bed away it was hunt, and he might wood away. And if they come on good soil and bite upon the waters, it may break the Jewish branches and bear for him become a man of life. And I say, Thou says the Lord, will it thrive? Will he not pull up its roots and cut off its fruit so that it with it? And so with all its fresh sprouting leaves with it. Then it will not take a strong arm or many he could pull from its roots. You know, this point, will it thrive? It will not utterly wither when, and the east wind strikes it, wither away on the bed where it's bright. And the worst thing that came to me is say no to the reverse. Do you not know what these things mean? Tell them, behold, the king of Babylon came to Jerusalem, and took the king and the princess and brought them to him to Babylon. And he took one of the royal ones and made a covenant with him, putting him under earth. And the king might be hung and lifted and lift itself up. Mm. And lift itself up. Mm -hmm. And keep his covenant that it might stand. And he rebelled against him by sending his ambassadors to Egypt, Egypt, that they might give him horses in the large army. We thought, can one, can one escape who does such things? And he does such things. Can he break the covenant and yet, and yet escape? And I live to cleanse the Lord. Surely in the place, surely in the place where the king dwells, he made him king. Made him king. His earth he despised, and his covenant with him he broke. In Babylon he shall die. Bear with his mighty army, and a great company will not help him more. more. A man to cast up and teach war was built to cut off many lives. He despised the earth and breaking the covenant. And the Lord has gave his hand. He gave his hand and did all these things. He shall not escape. Therefore, thus says the Lord God. Lord God, as I live, surely is my earth that he despised, and my covenant that he broke. I will return it upon his head, and I will spread my net over him, and he shall be taken by snare, and I will bring him to Babel, and enter into judgment with him. Therefore, the treachery he has committed against me, and I will take of his troops and fall by sword, and the survivors shall be scattered to every wind, and he shall know that I am the Lord. I am speaking. Thus says the Lord God, I will myself take a spirit from the lofty top of the cedar. And will say that I will break off from the topmost of its young trees a tender one, and I myself will plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain height of Israel will I plant it, that it may bear branches and produce fruit and become a noble cedar, and under it will dwell every kind of bird. In the shade of its branches, birds of every sort will nest, and all the trees of the field shall know that I am the Lord. I bring with the high tree, and I make high the low tree, drive the green tree, and make the dry tree flash. I am the Lord, I speak, and I now do. Where the Lord came to him, what do you mean by repeating this prophet concerning the land of Israel? My fathers have eaten in the sound grave, and the children's teeth are set on the edge. As I live to close the local, this prophet shall no more be used by you in Israel. You know, all souls are mine, and the soul of the father is more the soul of the son is mine, and the soul who is sin shall die. If a man righteous, is righteous and does what is just and right, and if, if he does not eat upon the mountains, but lifts up his eyes to the eye of the house of Israel, and does not defile his neighbor's wife or approach a woman in a time of mental impurity, does not oppress anyone, but restores to the depth of his pledge. And he omits no robbery, gives his bread to the hungry, and covers the naked with the garment, does not lend it interest or take any part, withholds his hand from justice, injustice, and executes true justice between man and man, walks in my statutes, keeps his rules by acting faithfully. He is righteous, he shall surely live to Christ the Lord. If he follows the son who is found in the shed of blood, who does any of these things, and he is a who even eats among the mountains, among the mountains, to force his neighbor's wife, the first of the poor and needy, commits robbery and does not restore the pledge, lifts up his eyes to to the idols, commits abomination, lends it interest, and and takes profit. Shall he then live? He shall not live. He has done all these abominations. He shall surely die. His blood shall be upon himself. Now I suppose this man follows the son who sees all the sins that his father has done. He sees and does not do likewise. He does not eat upon the mountains or lift up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel. He does not fill his neighbor's mind. He does not oppress anyone, exact no pledge, commits no robbery. But gives his bread to the hungry and cuts the naked with a gum. Withholds his hand from the from the naked, he takes no interest or profit, obeys my rules, and walks in my statutes. He shall not die for his father's iniquity. He shall surely live. As for his father, because he practiced extortion, robbed his brother, and did what was not good among his people, he shall die for his iniquity. 
Yet you say, why should not the sun suffer for all the iniquity of his father? When the son has done what is just and right, and has been careful to observe all my statutes, he shall surely live, the son of his sin shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. Now if a wicked person turns away from his sins, for he is coming, and keeps, and keeps all my statutes, and does what is just and right. He shall surely live. He shall not die. None of the transgressions that he has committed, he has committed, shall be remembered against him. For the righteousness that he has done, shall live. He has done. He shall live. And I find any pleasure in the death of the wicked to cause the local, and rather not rather that he should turn from his way and live. For when a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and does injustice and does the same abominations, and does the same abominations, and that the wicked person does, shall he live. None of the righteous deeds that he has done. And shall we remember for the treasure of which he is guilty and sin he is coming? For them he shall die. And yet he saith, The way of the Lord is not just. He now has is Is my way not just? Is, is it not your ways that are not just? When a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and does injustice, he shall die. For, for the injustice that he has done, he shall die. Again, when the wicked person turns away from the wickedness, he is turned to me and does what is just and right. He shall save his life because he can sin. Consider it and turn away from all the transgressions that he had committed. He shall surely live, he shall not die. Yet the house of Israel says, The house of Israel says, The way of the Lord is not just. The other house of Israel are my ways not just. Is it not your ways that are not just? Therefore, I'll judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone according to his ways, you have the Lord God. Repent and turn from all your transgressions, lest iniquity be your own. Cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed, and make yourselves a new heart and new spirit. Why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of everyone, anyone to curse the mogul. So turn and live. Proverbs 13. And why send his father's instruction, but the scoffer does not listen to it? For the fruit of a man, a man eats, a man eats what is good, and the desire of the treacherous is vile. Is for violence. So whoever guards his mouth gets. God, whoever guards his mouth preserves his life. He who opens wide his lips comes to The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing. And while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. And the righteous hates the false but the wicked brings shame and disgrace. Righteousness guards him his ways by this. And sin overthrows the wicked. One pretends to be rich, he has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, he has great wealth. The ransom of, the, of a man's life is his wealth. The poor man has no spirit. The light of the righteous rejoices, but the lamp of the wicked will be put in. That the insolence comes nothing but strife, but the good those who take advice, take advice to the prison. Lord's gain hastily will turn to. And whoever gathers low by the Lord will increase. Hope to fair makes the heart sick, but a desire fulfilled is a tree of life. The Lord despises the word, brings destruction on himself. And he who refers to the plan will be rewarded. The teaching of the wise is found than life. The one who turn away from the sins of death. Good sense goes for you, the word of the treacherous is their rule. And every prudent man acts with none, but the fool flaunts his folly. And his folly, a wicked messenger falls into trouble, into trouble for faithful envoy brings healing. Poverty and disgrace come to him who ignores and search. Now whoever he's reproof is on a desire for food is sweet to itself. But to turn away from evil is an abomination to fools. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise. But the pain of fools will suffer harm. Disaster pursues sins, and the righteous are rewarded with good. The good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. But the sin of his wealth is left for the righteous. The follow ground for the poor would yield much fear. They are swept away through injustice. Uh, whoever spares the Lord hates his son, but he allows him his diligence to dishonor. The righteous has enough to satisfy his after. Uh, uh, the belly of the wicked suffers what? Psalm 48. Grace the Lord, grace the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the sea of Bangor. His holy man, beautiful in elevation, is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, the father of the sea of the great king, within, within her citadel, God has made himself a man. Himself known as a fortress, for behold, the kings assembled, they came on together. As soon as they saw it, they were astounded. They were in panic, they took to fly, and trembling to call them the English is of a woman in labor. By the east wind, you shattered the tip sh ships of Tarshish. I see you first, so we have seen in the sea of the Lord has in the sea of our God, which God will establish forever. We have thought in your step as love, O God, in the midst of your temple, as your name, O God. So you praise the reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Let Mount Zion be glad, and let the doors of Judah rejoice because of your God's judgments. Walk about Zion, go around her, and number her town. Let so will her ramparts go through her city, that you may tell the next generation that this is God. Now God forever and ever, he will guide us forever. 
Now the strong nationality of the Lord's Prayer makes my hands a father in heaven. Hallelujah. be your name. You can not come. He will be drawn to us as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Because I have to do this, I have to do this. not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Because of the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God. Amen. Seek my God.